my god. <sighs> Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing an, a review on a product a lot of you may not have heard about or the reason why you're here is because you're tossing up whether or not to buy one of these or not and I thought I would do a re review because they are a bit expensive but at the same time it's something that a lot of people should know about even people who are just following this for the fact that they follow my channel. Um, if you have sleep problems, if you have back pain, um, especially for those like me who have ankylosing spondylitis which is just spinal arthritis pain and also even for just every day-to-day -day stress this is something that I had done a bit of research on and wondered if it was worth buying and I must tell you guys that these mats are not something you take lightly as in they're also known as bed of nails so what am I talking about I will show you this thing right here is the Shakti mat. So I thought I would do a review and let you guys know my opinion of how it has helped me over four weeks. So I'm not just going to stand on it now and be like, oh yeah, it's great, buy one. I actually wanted to do a review over four weeks so you guys know my thoughts and reviews on the Shakti mat. So it's true they are also known as the bed of nails mat or the acupuncture mat, however, or however many companies want to sell them. Um, but this was the most popular brand, the most brought product, um, the most talked about brand. There are a lot of other intimidated brands out there. Um, but this is actually the original one that I've got right here. And as you can see, it has millions and millions of these sharp little spikes. Um, so as I said, these retail for around $60 to $80 online on their website. Um, there is different types of mats. I believe there's different colors. I think it's green, orange, and black. Orange, I think, is the medium one with the um, medium type of spikes. I think green is a bit shorter spikes, so not too hard on the body. And black is like the really thicker, sharper spikes. So I thought, being my first time, I'll start with the orange mat in the middle and see how I go. Um, I've noticed that Kmart um, were also selling their own type of brand of acupuncture mat in their sports section. I did go and have a look at theirs on the weekend and wasn't really impressed. It was Kmart. I think it was around $25 for the mat compared to $60 to $80 for a mat. You get what you pay for. So if you're just looking for something for a little bit of a massage, then maybe the Kmart one might be for you. Um, or if you can't afford the more expensive brand, um, then yeah, buy the Kmart one. It looks very similar. But the spikes on that mat seem very dull and um, not as hard plastic that I noticed. So what are these mats and what do they do? Um, so I do carry a lot of my stress and tension in my back and I also have lower back pain um, due to the stiffness and arthritis and things like that, inflammation in my back and I'm also not a very good sleeper. So these three things were main issues for me and apparently that's what this mat is really good for. Now you can use it on your feet, on your arms, on your back, on your legs however you want to do it. Apparently we have so many pressure points throughout our body that these little spikes, once you lay on them for about 10 minutes, it activates a hormone to release um, chemicals to reduce stress in the body. So apparently these little spikes work amazing on the pressure points all over the body. That can help you with sleep, they can help you with back pain, and that can help reduce stress in your body. So let's try them out and see how it feels. It does look a bit sharp, so I'm a bit worried, especially when I have sensitive feet. So the mat, surprisingly, isn't that big. It's about a metre long. 
Um, it has a cover that you can Velcro off and wash with just like a foam, a foam piece inside. So pretty much you're paying for a piece of foam and a mat with these amazing little spikes sewn into them. Okay, so standing on it at first, I'm like, oh, it's like when you go to a beach and you take your shoes off, but the whole beach is made out of spiky rocks. It's unpleasant. But after a while, I can feel, you know, after about 30 seconds, I can feel my feet starting to get warm and like blood flowing a lot in my feet. So I'll see how long I can last. I'm just. It's okay once you're st standing still. I feel if I pick up my feet and move them to different places, it's a bit uncomfortable, but it's probably been a minute now and it's actually bearable. My feet actually just feel really hot. Um, the pain's gone and it's starting to feel just like, yeah, a bed of nails massage on your feet. Okay, so that was about five minutes on my feet. Um, not that it became unbearable, but I was a bit like, okay, my feet just feel hot now, and it was it was okay, but I wasn't really enjoying it. Like, it wasn't like, wow, um, this is doing wonders for me. I'm sure it was great for blood flow circulation and to relax my feet a bit, but other than that, I thought it was okay. It went alright. Now for the scary part to actually lay on this with my back. Okay, sorry about that. Not a very good view. Um, I didn't want to do it with like a crop top on or something like that because I didn't want to be like, um, okay, I'm going to test it out on my back and let you guys know how I feel. And then, you know, I'm missing a lot of main points in my back if I've got a crop top or something on. So I've just got like, I've just taken my top and everything off and I've just got a blanket covering me on top. Oh, this, this is painful. Like, it's bearable pain. That's the weird thing. Like, it's, it's bearable. Like, I have a strong... Um, pain threshold so to me it's it's bearable some other people might hate this um, if you've got sensitive skin or you know not a high pain threshold then you might not like it but it's it's bearable it's stinging it's like it's like having a bee sting at the moment and I don't want to move because every time I move it hurts how, how many minutes? I think 15 minutes they recommend a day that you lay on this to relax. I don't know if I can do 15 minutes. Um, so the bones in my shoulders are actually digging into it and that kind of hurts. Um, my back's starting to feel really, really hot. So it's doing its job. It's creating a lot of circulation and getting all those pressure points in my back. But... is um you really need to just shut your mind off and try and relax counting backwards from 15 minutes is it's just going to make it horrible i feel this this is something you need to you know shut all the lights off put some meditation music on and just lay on this and think of the benefits that you're getting out of it wow it's very it's very stingy still oh all right, I'm just going to try and relax my mind and lay here for 15 minutes. Mm. Okay, so I lasted about 10 minutes. 
um, my back feels like it's burnt and prior before buying I did read and people were like oh make sure you get the sunburn effect I was like okay so apparently um, the circulation and everything just spreads all through your body all the pressure points are getting affected by the spikes and your back starts feeling so hot it's like it's hot to touch now like it's been sunburnt um, I feel a bit um, what's the word less tense not as tight I feel hot like I feel like I've been laying um, sun baking in the sun for an hour um, and yeah I feel kind of good I think because there's a lot of blood flow going on there um, I feel like it worked better on my back than it did on my feet which is good because that's the main area I wanted to focus on and I'm going to try and do this between 10 to 15 minutes on my back every night before bed to um, relax and de-stress from the day and yeah hopefully I can get better sleep and less back pain so I'll update you guys again in three to four weeks and let you know what I think of it hi guys and welcome back so it's been probably about four weeks four weeks since I got my Shakti mat and um, yeah all, all good news so um, I don't regret buying this so in the first week and a half I was like using this religiously like every night before bed I would have my shower and then I would put some relaxing music on and I'll just lay down on my mat on the floor for about 10 15 sometimes even 20 minutes and um, getting the sunburn effect every time and just felt like oh I'm de-stressed for the day um, I can now go to bed and have a good sleep which is um, sorry I'm very shaky because I just got back from the gym <laughs> um, so yeah so I felt um, I don't know if it was the placebo effect um, but I feel using this after my shower getting ready for bed I would then switch off like meditate while using the mat and then have a better sleep that was good has it helped my back pain four weeks in I can say back pain still there it's not gonna cure spinal pain or back injuries or disc injuries it's, it's not gonna do that I find um, the sunburn effect is creating blood flow to the area so it's hitting all the acupuncture spots in your back so it is releasing a hormone to deal better with the pain but it's not gonna fix any injuries that you have sport wise or medical wise or anything like that not that I was hoping that the mat was going to come in and cure my spinal arthritis but um it does relieve the pain while you're on your mat I guess because the spikes are you know using all the pressure points onto your mat so it's good relaxing for that but the back pain's still there that's always going to be there um did it help me de-stress and feel better yeah I find giving yourself um, well making time for yourself to relax and you know take time out to meditate and lie on this mat or stand on the mat or wherever you hold your stress I always hold it in my shoulders and in my back I feel that it has created a bit of calm and de-stress for me while I'm using the mat so I do hope I can continue to use it even if it's not every day but every second day or you know every three days or if I have a quiet night and I feel a bit stressed after work I need to remind myself I have this mat here I brought it for a reason um, because it does actually make you have time out make you switch off get away from your phone just lay there in the dark with your eyes closed on the mat getting the blood blood flowing through your body and um, you know hitting those pressure points that we have all over our body to create relaxed hormones so um, yeah, I'm glad I brought this mat. I'm glad I went and brought the more expensive original brand. I'm glad I didn't skimp out and buy the Kmart brand. As I said, it's up to you guys. If you want a softer mat and you've got a budget, then the Kmart one looked fine. Um, but I'm happy I brought this mat. No complaints. Um, I haven't taken the mat apart yet to wash it because, I don't know, I'm worried these little plastic bits might get wrecked. So I might hand wash it, not just throw it in the washing machine. Um, but it doesn't get dirty, it doesn't get sweaty. I had read that a lot of people use them on their beds um, to cushion the blow. I always think it's going to work better on the floor. You've got a hard surface, the mat stays straight, and then you're just putting your body weight on top of the mat. Um, I did try and put it on my bed and then laid on it, but then I, I felt that the mattress then absorbs the 
um, impact when you jump onto the mat and then you're not getting the full effect of laying on the bed of nails as they say um, which is why I think it works best on the hard surface just laying, laying it on the ground and then you lay on top of it um, but other than that I can't fault it um, as I said it's not a you know remedy to stop all aches and pains but it is great for um, helping you relax and get that blood flowing in your body and getting the sunburn effect I, I see what it is now your body's just full of pressure points being activated and fresh blood flowing all through your body so it's really good um, also have a look I think CBS did a review online as well about the imp effects from these mats and it was really surprising a lot of um, chiropractors and things have recommended them for people who have a lot of knots in their back or you know for stress and need um, help sleeping and things like that so it, it does it does work for that regarding sleeping sorry um, regarding sleeping um, did it help me really I'm someone who takes a long time to fall asleep um, I realize sometimes if I spend a good 20 to 30 minutes on this um, I do fall asleep a bit quicker because my body's already getting relaxed um, but I still wake up through the night, I still get up at 3 o'clock, walk around, have a drink. It doesn't actually help me stay asleep. Um, and then some nights I use the mat and I still take two hours to fall asleep. So um, some people who might need to relax a bit, de-stress before bed, it's a good tool. Um, but has it helped me sleep better? No, I still, I still wake up and toss and turn throughout the night. But yeah, so I'm going to give this 5 out of 5 stars. It does everything that it says it does. And... Um, yeah i'm very happy with it i'm just gonna keep it out so i can you know not just put it away in the cupboard and never use it again i want to make sure that i'm i'm using this regularly and often and it's also a reason for you to then make time for yourself so i hope, hope this review has helped people that yes these awesome little spikes do do things which help your body and it also gives you a reason to make time to look after yourself and take time out to meditate and relax before bed or whenever you want to do it before gym after gym when you get a spare 20 minutes to yourself definitely go and buy one all right guys that's my review and i will see you guys later